Hey there reefers, Super Salty Reefer here. Uh, I'm doing a detailed walkthrough of my tank. Um, so that way uh, potential buyers can uh, see the details of the tank and how I have it set up. Uh, hopefully it'll answer any questions that you may have um, about it. But this here is the Ellis 120XL uh, tank with the Quiet Drain 2 uh, overflow. Uh, dimensions on it, it's about 47.3 by 31.5 by 19.7 uh, inches tall. Uh, it has 12 millimeter thick diamond glass is what Ellis calls it. Uh, wa water volume comes out to about 127 gallons and the stand itself, it's about 34.3 inches tall. Um, so that comes out to about 55 uh, inches tall overall height. So um, I'll start off at the top here. As you can see, I have three uh, Radeon XR15 Gen 6 Blues with the diffuser uh, hooked up to the RMS rail uh, mounted to my ceiling. In between that, I have the Kessel 360X uh, lights, so that way it provides a shimmer to the tank. And you might be able to see it down here on the bottom, right there. So I like that effect, so that's why I um, added the Kessels. Um, definitely overkill on the lights. You don't need this many lights. Uh, this right here is the Clearview uh, Pisces Exo lid, custom made lid. Um, what I, uh, as you can see, um, they did a great job. But besides, but they kind of cut the tabs a little bit too uh, narrow or too short, so it kind of like sinks in on some of the edges. So what I did was I had a friend 3D print these clips for me. Uh, so that way uh, it wouldn't fall. So as you can see, there's clips there. Uh, three on each side will keep it from falling inside the tank. Um, they offered to fix it for me, but I didn't want to bother shipping it back and everything. Um, this is the feed door right here. So nice and thick. Uh, I will take this, see if I can take this off. Um, so that way you can see the tank better. Uh, and I'm going to hold the phone weird um, while I take this off. Okay, there it goes. So I just stick it right here on the side. Okay, great. All right, tank's looking much better with the clips off. This is what the clips look like on each side right there. Very easy, they come right off. So you can just put them right there and I'll take the other three off on this side because it looks much cleaner without these clips. So let's put it down there. Uh, so this tank right here, uh, moving down on the tank. Um, let's see, the quiet drain is right over there. As you can see, uh, water comes in from that side right there, and then water comes in there, and then there's a output right there. And there's output on the bottom too, uh, that you can uh, hook up a pipe to, which I have, um, but I don't use it because I just want to float up top. Um, here I'm using a Red Sea Reef Wave 45. Um, it's very strong, enough flow. By the way, don't mind the Aptasia that I have in this tank. And then also I have a MP40 uh, hooked up on here. Uh, I'm not using it, it's not on right now uh, because I just didn't uh, need that much flow at the moment. You can see the sticker here. This is the Ellis High Quality Diamond Series. The sticker's still on there. Um, working my way over here. So as you can see, I'm gonna put on the filters. Maybe this will uh, help you guys see the scratches better. Okay, so, so I put the blue tape up here so that way you can kind of see the scratches, but it's gonna be very hard to capture on camera, which I don't think I'll be able to do. But I, this is, I'm very OCD about my scratches on the tank. So uh, what I did was to try to capture for you is very light scratch here where basically where you see the blue tape here is another one and then there there uh i don't think you can capture it but 
Let me see if I can zoom in. Yeah, very hard to capture. So you, you really can't see it unless you're really trying to look for it. But yeah, can't capture it. But you can, you'll be able to um, look at it when you uh, come look at the tank. Let me. I'll just keep the lens orange filter on so you can see the tank better. Uh, but yeah, as you can see, the silicone right here, it's uh, very good. I'm very uh, picky when it comes to cleaning the glass with my Tunzi scraper so that way it doesn't uh, mess up any of the silicone right here. And as you can see on this side as well, silicone's nice all the way to the bottom. If you notice the bottom has this uh, white MDF starboard that's beveled on the edges. So that way uh, detritus can collect over here. So that way I can uh, suck it out easier. But as you can see, there's tons of coralline grown all over there and all over the rocks. Um, this back glass wall here has tons of coralline algae because I don't scrape it because I didn't really need to, it doesn't bother me. Um, tank wise, let's see. So on this side here, you can see from this angle, I'm running it as kind of like a peninsula style tank, um, but you can run it against your wall as long as the overflow is on the back corner right there. You gotta make sure that you have room to open up the doors. And then so this lengthwise is the 31.5 inch versus the other one, this is the 47.3, I believe. And then tall wise, it's the 19.7. Um, I like this height just because I'm only I'm only 5'8", so for me to reach inside this tank and reach to the bottom, very easy. Uh, and let's see, electronics cabinet. I can show you right here. So this is just an Ikea Besta electronic cabinet that I uh, modified. Um, I cut a piece of expanded PVC board from Taft's plastic, used some L brackets to keep it in place, and drilled some uh, holes into the areas that I needed to, so that way I can get the plugs out. But I'm running uh, two EB uh, Neptune systems, uh, EB 832s. Um, I got the, the head, a main head unit there. And I've got the Inkbird uh, thermostat heater controller there. On this side right here, I've got the, uh, that's for the skimmer, the Reef Octopus skimmer. That's for the ATO, Red, I'm using the Red Sea ATO there. And then uh, the M2 return pump, the S2 uh, pump for the Aqua UV 57 watt uh, UV sterilizer. MP40 is turned off right now. And then that's this other uh, controller right there on the top right is for the reef wave. So kind of blurry there, but uh, this right here, this container right here, that's my auto top off container, uh, custom built by Advanced Acrylic. Uh, I think that's about a 40 gallon, uh, 35, 40 gallon uh, reservoir container. Um, this side of the tank, you can see, um, let's see, I'll show you the silicone right here. It seems uh, very clean still. So that looks good there, all the way to the bottom down there. Um, let's see, this is the overflow box. So with the Quiet Drain 2 overflow box, um, I think it has the best looking cover right here. Um, how you adjust it. This is to allow water uh, to go in to drain. And this is to allow uh, the output of water. And you can adjust it by using this little key that they give you to twist it and everything. And you turn it right here too, or right here like that. So uh, that's how that works. As you can hear, it's very quiet. Uh, the back side of the stand, as you can see the way Ellos built it is, uh, there's actually an opening, a gap right here. Uh, so that way one, um, it lets kind of like the humidity and the airflow to come out um, of 
the inside of the cabinet, which is great. So there's no moisture buildup. Um, I like it too, because that way I can kind of run wires out through here, which makes it easy. So as you can see, I saw these wire organizers here and it goes in there, but still kind of messy. Uh, if you look at the bottom, see, you can see the exposed glass on the bottom too, which is pretty cool, but it's got a double pane uh, bottom, glass bottom. So it's very bottom heavy uh, fish tank. And then those right two pipes right there is for the overflow drain. And the ATL reservoir there with all my stickers. The pump, as you can see, pump right down there still. Uh, let's look inside under the cabinet. So, all right, I'm gonna maybe zoom out on here. Okay, that's good. So, as you can see down here, so how it works with the drain, I'll try to get the best close-up shot I can, but uh, this right here is the drain with the spears. Uh, I believe this one is a one inch uh, spears gate valve, and the drain's down there, and the hose there connects to this uh, reef mat Red Sea Reef Mat 1200. And then so that's kind of like the fleece roller basically. Drains down here, goes into the refugium down here. I've got some media blocks there, the Tunzi Eco Chic uh, light down there. Uh, I got the Neptune's Grow um, LED light. And then I've got, you can see the uh, refugium wall down there, very messy and dirty. Uh, sump and then it overflows into this area right here um, as you can see uh, I got more stuff down there but there's all of the uh, Neptune probes over there uh, I've got a reef octopus uh, elite 220 INT <clears throat> and then it goes from there this is a great skimmer by the way best skimmer I've ever used uh, I've used many many skimmers uh the previous skimmer on this tank was the nios 220 uh, which is great but this is much better because uh, it's got a dc pump then i've got it draining into this uh, avast marine uh, davy jones locker it's for the skim it so that way i don't have to empty it out all the time uh, for dosing um, i've got the red sea forehead doser um, it goes into the Aquamax containers. You can see my dosing containers, the two-part ESV, two-part, uh, plus with the uh, Tropic Marin MP Bacto Balance to get to lower my nitrates and phosphates. And then it, the hose hook up here and it kind of just drops down into there. Uh, this one right there, that's for the uh, ATO, uh, the Red Sea ATO uh, to refill the water. Um, as you can see over here, this uh, it's got the the Ecotech Vectra M2 return pump, and that sensor right here, that's the sensor for the ATO. Um, water level is kind of low right now. I haven't turned it on yet, but then you can see this pipe going from the return pump all the way up into the overflow again. So you can see silicone tubing there, so that way no vibration or anything. Uh, but it goes back up and returns back into the, um, the overflow. Oh, and then over here, I got the Vectra S2 uh, return pump, and I just got it hooked up to John Guest fittings, and it goes into the uh, Aqua UV 57 watt UV sterilizer. Um, it goes into here, goes out, as you can see, it's on right now, and then dumps it back into the uh, the chamber that has the return pump, so that way it does a full circulation um, for the for water circulation for the tank. Um, all right, so restarting this video, got to finish up soon because uh, running out of phone space. <laughs> but uh, this is the bottom right down there. I'll take this away now. So that is the bottom. And as you can see, I still got blue tape uh, on the stand. Everything's still brand new. Uh, but that's pretty much the tank. Um, 
So that's pretty much everything. If you have any questions, let me know. But um, yeah, that's pretty much the, the LOS. Very nice tank, probably the best tank I've ever had. But yeah, I'm moving, so that's why I need to sell it. Uh, let me see if I can do it this way. It'll look nicer, but yeah, very nice, beautiful tank. Uh, I get tons of compliments uh, from anyone that comes over to the house and everything. So um, I know the future owner of this tank is going to really love it. But all right, guys, let me know if you have any questions. Um, oh, yeah, by the way, this uh, picture up here uh, is my Lazy Coffee design. Elaine over there makes great artwork, so make sure to support her. Uh, but yeah. I like that because it has most of the fishes and tangs that I have in here. But that is the tank. Let me know if you have any questions. Um, I'll just record the fishes in the meantime. So that way, after I guess I run out of uh, storage. But I have nine tangs in here. Two black tangs. Three yellow tangs. Uh, the big yellow tang in there is the wild one. The two smaller ones, Biota. Can't tell the difference at all. Uh, purple tang, gem tang, uh, this is the zebra tang down there, that's the most expensive guy there. Um, there's the Colorado sunburst anemone there. Two black storm clownfishes, one there, you can see another one in the background. Two cleaner wrasses in here. And then the hawkfishes, the golden Tahitian golden hawkfishes. Uh, I think the small one is the female and the big guy is the male uh, right there. As you can tell, I, I like yellow fishes. Uh, but yeah, this guy is cool. Both of the yellow guys here. This is the zebra right there. But yeah, let me know if you have any questions. Uh, thanks everybody. Thanks for watching. Hope you like it. All right, bye.